What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Geeky Guy Comics here from the Killer Comic Show. Now today we're diving into something truly epic for all you Wolverine fans out there. We have the Wolverine Ono Studio 1-6 scale figure. Look at this bad boy. This is not just any Wolverine figure. It's an absolute work of art that every single collector should consider adding to their display. You've had enough of me, so let's get right into unboxing this bad boy. Let's have a look. So, first off, let's talk about the packaging. The box itself, as you can see, is truly stunning. We've got some nice, beautiful artwork of Wolverine up there on the front, but unfortunately, it's not really truly representative of how the actual figure looks. Uh, we also have his name up the top there in the bold red and black, which really stands out. We have an X-Men logo there. We have the round X-Men symbol there, and then we have the classic Wolverine comic book style font as well on there. As you can see on one side, and I'm not sure if you can in the light, but we have Wolverine taking up the entire panel and then on the other side we have this pretty awesome close-up image of Wolverine wearing his cow and then as you will see around the back we have some also awesome figure photography um, showcasing his sick looking claw effects there which I'm not actually that much of a fan and then below we have some legal warnings and the usual information and a tiny little bit of a tidbit there that says this was actually a product of Hot Toys. Now going back to the front of the box I do have to give credit where credit is due because they did a great box and it really, really does heighten the, uh, the unboxing experience because it does actually feel quite unique. As you'll see here, if you lift up this panel first, I like the way that they've cut around the top of the X-Men logo to make it look a bit more three-dimensional. It is pretty sweet, I'm not going to lie. The same thing can also be said for the various other X-Men logos that they got around the box on the side and also on the back as well. There's, uh, there's collectors out there that don't like to get their figures out of the box, so this might actually be pretty good for you. But that's enough of the box. Let's unbox this bad boy, shall we, and take an actual look of what you get inside. So, as you can see, Wolverine is pretty decently securely packed with all of his accessories. We've got the interchangeable hands up here that also feature the amazing and iconic claws. We've got some wicked face plates, which we'll have a closer look later on. And we have some not so impressive slash effects that I did mention earlier on that you can add to the claws. My first hand impressions of the Wolverine are that this guy is a pretty solid figure. He's pretty decent. The mold on him and the actual statue of him looks bloody awesome. He's quite heavy and as, as premium models and figures go i would say for 150 pounds this is right up there so what i'm going to do now i'm going to get out all of the wolverine accessories lay them out on the floor and take a closer look at everything that he comes with so starting off with a display the base comes in technically oops the base comes in technically two parts um we'll talk about the bottom portion first and then we'll move on to the backdrop i actually surprisingly like this base yes it's pretty big for, for what it actually is is needed for and it is a little oversized but i've got to say it is pretty slick i mean we've got the wolverine logo here in the uh in the comic style font which is awesome looking all classic and the vibrant colors and absolutely loving that then we have this vibrant yellow trim all the way around the back around the front and round the sides um which, which looks bloody awesome we've got a translucent pole uh we have a translucent crotch grabber i'm not sure if that's the official term but that's the one i'm going to go with and then as i said we're moving on to the back piece now I like the concept of this. I don't think it's great. Um, I like the fact you can put your comic into it and it slots right in. You can put a comic in there or you can put an image of, of Wolverine. But as you can see, it's made of real flimsy plastic and it doesn't look like it's been treated. So please do not treat this like a CGC slab and put your rare Wolverine comic into it because it will get ruined. But yeah, as saying that, I mean, this for a premium uh, figure, as I said it was, this doesn't really hold up to what it should be doing. On to the claws next. Now, for me, these are a real highlight. Although they're cast out of plastic, they are quite sharp on the tips, so keep away from little hands. But the quality is wicked. I know a lot of people have said, oh, it's not really 
not really going to work like how would these uh, ever retract in back into wolverine skin but with that said i like the fact that they're quite long i like the fact that they look quality i like the finish and the stitching on the hands and the clenched fist and i think they look authentic so i'm absolutely loving these the additional add-on slash effects as i said are absolutely shocking again there's some real good premium parts in this figure and these unfortunately don't stand up to it. I think they're unnecessary and unfortunately these will be staying in the box and will not be displayed. The interchangeable face plates are again another highlight of this figure because they are very well done. The paintwork is awesome different expressions really really are a nice touch and i will be showing how easy it is to use these later on as you can just see it's kind of plug and play so with the accessories done let's get into the detail of the sculpt so as i mentioned the figure on this sculpt is absolutely top notch and for a total of 150 pounds from what they've done here is is awesome in my opinion this is the second six figure scale i've got and it is bloody awesome from the ferocious looking expression on his face to the musculature it's clear that a lot of care went into making this look as realistic as possible as mentioned earlier the expressions can be changed by simply removing wolverine's head pushing out from the back of his faceplate as such putting in a new one clipping it in place pushing it in and then putting wolvie's head back on like that and we have another looking wolverine face the texture on the suit is also amazing it's the bright yellow and black tiger stripes that captures the iconic look of wolverine what he is known for the texture as you can see here, it's got some really nice finishing and it's not too tight and it does really, really look good. His arms are sensational. You have full mobility of all of it. The finishing is really, really great. The detail that they've done on this really, really does stand out. Now, as I mentioned, this sixth scale figure is in its vibrant yellow and metallic blue costume with the animalistic tiger stripes that are on the side and all the way around the black in, in black. The shoulder pads, I know that some people have said that these keep falling out when the arms are moved, but at the moment, I have had no trouble of this as yet. Painting is a, a real real shout out for this the uh, the the Chris metallic blue really does stand out like on his shoulder pads on the arm plates on his hands on his pants and on his shoes they really really do stand out and it looks slick one of the standout features for me on this figure is the articulation as I mentioned you've got the full range of motion in the arms the legs in the torso as well which means you can create some truly dynamic poses whether you want Wolverine a classic ready to fight stance or something more dramatic this figure delivers on every single point so what's the verdict well for me the wolverine on o studio is amazing the sixth figure scale is awesome which is actually the first from on a studio they've got loads coming out but for me any wolverine or marvel fan will want to grab this for 150 pounds it's an absolute bargain. The attention to detail and the quality of materials is absolutely awesome. And the sheer presence has made it worth every single penny. Whether you're a seasoned collector or you are getting started, this figure will stand out in any collection of a toy lover. Guys, that's absolutely it. It's Friday. I'm going to go and chill now. I'm going to play with the Wolverine figure now that I've unpacked it. Make sure you check us out every single Thursday over on the Killer Comic Show at 9 o'clock p.m. where we have Killer Covers, Killer Indies, we do killer reviews and we have a load of banter as well just for your viewing pleasure. Guys, that's me, Geeky Guy Comics, signing off. Have a great weekend and we shall see you on the next video.